Hello and welcome to the special edition of our Mega Build, which is the 150th birthday today of Peter Brotherhood from 1867 to 2017. And we are starting this video from inside one of the pods from the London Eye because this was the original location of the Peter Brotherhood factory on the site of the London Eye. So we thought we'd look over the new factory from the position of the old factory. So as you can see since the last video there's been a lot of landscaping out here. The customer, customer car park is now done, the business of car park even. And we'll jump down now and we'll fly over to the main car park which I think we haven't seen yet since it's been finished. So that is all now done. We need to put some cars in it. We have the overflow car park and the shed for the motorbikes is now here. So we'll head inside because there's quite a bit of work being done inside as well. The flooring is down and the lighting is in for the downstairs. We'll just pop up here and the upstairs office. And we'll pop into the street now. I can't remember what colour the carpet is, so if anyone wants to comment and leave me what colour the carpet is, that would help greatly. So we'll head into the main factory now. And I think since the last video we haven't done anything this end of the factory yet, but assembly one we have started. We have Bernie Edwards office over there, which I believe I completed, yes. And then we have the assembly one and two little pod area, we have this team leaders offices here and here, uh, we need the tables in here yet to go, uh, the toilets need finishing off yet, that is still to come. So now head out of here we have the balancing machine just here next to the jib crane that we put in and we have a couple of workbenches so we will now head into the test bed area, which is through this door here. And eventually we will have some turbines in here pretending to be tested. So we'll head through the back of the test bed area and we'll head up into the control room. Which is in here, so we can look out over it from above. It'll look better when it's all finished. There's a computer in here on the desk, I think there's some cupboards to go in a little bit in, and if we quickly jump down here. Uh, we have a couple of boilers I've put in, but off the top of my head I cannot remember if they're in the right place. There's a lot of pipes and other bits and bobs to go in here. So we'll now pop outside here, and this will take us to the goods inwards gates, the main gates and we have a turbine just going out on the back of the lorry um, there's a driver inside there I don't know why he's grunting at me right, we'll head through, back through the gates and we now have our storage area for the oil barrels the waste, barrel, uh, waste oil bin and we have our skips in place in there. I believe there was a crane in there, but I can't remember. I'll have to look into it. Yeah, if we go this way again, we have the gas cylinder area now back there. And a couple of gas tanks in here. Another one there. Don't believe that one's there anymore. And we will now head. We'll have it up down there in a minute. And we will head into the goods inwards area, which is a bit more finished now. We have Dave's office there. We have the toilets down there, we don't really need to see them. We have the racking, a few things coming in to be booked in. Stuff on the racking, we have a forklift truck that is on charge. And we have done a lot more to the heat treatment area, I forgot what it's called then. The heat treatment area, we have the oven. Yes, we saw that in the last video. What was that? Somebody's grunting at me. Ah, we finally found Mark Williams. Hi, Mark. 
Sorry Mark, I said I'd get you in a video. We'll head back out here and we'll go into the main stores. Which, yes, the racking is up since the last video. I think last time we saw the stores it was just an empty room. So we now have the carousel in place as well. The photo is meant to be a photocopier. We have the desk with the computers on, where they work. There we are, little desks here and drawers. We have the computer for the carousel, and hopefully, if we press one of these buttons, it works and things come out. Which I finally got working properly. So, in future videos when we do builds, we can come and get all our supplies from here. That worked nicely. And we'll head out, and if we look here, we can see, as promised, the compressor is still running. So we'll just head into the acid clean, which I think has been finished since we last come in. We have a few more a door there with all the controls and stuff, so we'll go inside there as well to finish. But we have all the four tanks in here. And we have something in the pacifier there. I don't know what it looks like. But um, and I apologise to Pete who mentioned that I forgot to mention he was going here. So that's where the gearbox area is going. Sorry, Pete. And if we now head through this fire exit here, this will take us out in here. There's a couple of things to go here, but I can't think exactly what they are off the top of my head. We have our storage containers here. And just this building a little bit here is the paint store, so we'll just have a quick look at that. So we'll just pop it in here, and the paint store has got its racking, its shelves, the paint cleaning equipment. So I think we will now head back outside quickly because we have the truck here waiting to be loaded. We have the hard standing area here where we keep a lot of storage stuff. We have some crates and some materials out here, same over there. And Dylan has done a very good job planting all the trees along here. There's still a fair few more trees to plant, so that might take a while. But we're doing a good job. So we'll head back in the factory now, and I think the last thing that was done in here. Yeah, Dylan started making the water test area that will go here. So that is a quick update. We have a few more trains in here as well. So in the next video, I will have hopefully started something in the machine shops. And there's a few more offices to go in over here. And I believe that will be it for this video now. Happy birthday, Peter Proverbs, and hopefully many more happy years to come. And if anyone could let me know what colour the carpet is in here, that would be a great help. So thank you very much for watching. If there's anything you'd like built for the next video, leave a comment or let me know. And we'll see what we can do. Goodbye.